Hello, welcome to Psychopath in Your Life. My name is Diane Emerson. Today I'm going to be covering some things that have been on my mind for, well, like a really long time. And it has to do with a lot of issues. And one main issue is that, you know, we're coming up on what, you know, the Bible would refer to as the end times. I would suggest that we're probably right in the middle of it. Um, but some things I've been noticing in the comments that I receive and whatnot is that we have been really programmed to fear death and it all depends on what you think our purpose is here but you know we've been heavily heavily programmed to fear death and I really think there was a big turning point and these people have been in charge for thousands of years now I've talked about that in the past and we have been set into a trap and the trap was set by some beliefs that we were told that would be good for us and one was that we could trust the government the other was we could trust doctors and the other is trust banks well I think that we're coming up on some very interesting times here with all of those different things here and this is just to open up the conversation clearly I could get a lot deeper into the weeds here but they basically sold us on those things and that's how we got to where we are today so how is that going to play out well I'll talk about how I think they're going to play it out in a few minutes here. But remember, because they have control of all of these things, if you're not playing ahead, I'm not really sure what your plan is. Wait a second here. Let me, let me get my cap on here, okay? Uh, maybe you're not aware of this, but I've done shows about this. Almost all the prescription meds that people rely on for their health and whatever... Um, anxiety control pills every every medication you can think of including all of the supplements come from China well how's that gonna work out I don't really know because to add to this issue a lot of meds are now being shipped around to people via United States mail service so if I were you I would be seriously thinking about if you're taking meds what, what exactly are you gonna do is it's dangerous to just stop taking anxiety meds but that's something you need to think about Here's the problem. The problem is is that when we see what's coming and we don't do anything about it, that becomes a pretty big problem for the most vulnerable. For example, do you have things just all on your phones? What happens if there's a blip in the phone system and you lose your address book? Does anybody know anybody's email addresses anymore? Do people know their actual phone numbers? Do you have a meetup place? Do you have radios? My big concern has been they're going to at some point be closing down the shelters. Well, there's going to be a point that it may be too dangerous to take your pets outdoors. So what's the plan for all of that? So you can run, you can hide, you can ignore all this all you want. But what they're doing right now is something they have done before in other countries. And here's how it works. And then I'll, I could get into more specifics later on as far as how they positioned all of this to... There never was any research as far as psychopaths in the general population, but that's a whole different subject. We have been tricked, 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 tricked so deeply it's hard to kind of come out from it. And I get a lot of comments from people saying, well, you know, would I do a transvestigation of this person or that person? No, I'm not going to. Here's the reason why. If you're relying on that kind of information, you're not looking around hard enough on your own, okay? You need to use your eyes and ears and those brains of your own and start looking around. It is not just the celebrities. And no, there's no, no such thing as lizards and all that. That has been their biggest trick to get everybody to be looking everywhere but where they should be looking. And where should you be looking? Well, I don't know. I find it awfully suspicious that I've looked at the head of the military. I've looked at the head of the hospitals. They're all transgender run, okay? Even Chelsea Manning, remember that person that supposedly got the surgery while in custody? Well, Chelsea Manning was a woman dressed as a man to begin with. So it's all been one big deception. So I would highly recommend you look around your own, own life because they have been able to see us for a very long time because... They know who they are, but we haven't known what they look like. And I got to tell you, it's pretty mind-boggling when you start to look around. And 
You can, you can sugarcoat it all you want, but I don't think going into what we're going into, not understanding who is the enemy here is going to be a very strong plan, okay? What they typically do is they go into other countries, and it's usually it's all about control and money. So what they typically do is they go into other countries, and the U.S. and their military buddies, usually Europe, Europeans, some, some Aussies and whatnot, everybody blows into these countries, basically burn things to the ground, steal all the natural resources they can get their hands on and then when they leave the military troops once they've gotten everything bombed to the ground the UN and their friends the peacekeepers go in to keep the oppression going well according to them it's to rebuild but what they do is they they burn the place down now in order to rebuild they get the force into taking some very high interest loans which they'll never get out from under so then they have them owned right well, they're doing the exact same thing in this country. They're burning this place to the ground. They're looting everything they can find here. They're essentially, and you, you, you need to make a lot of these decisions on your own. Don't take my word for it. Stop taking people's words for things and look around for yourself. This is just my opinion. They're going to be crashing the dollar. They've been holding the stock market up. What's going to happen is a lot of people have investments in their retirement and stuff. So it's going to go way beyond the greedy people who are playing the stock market right now. Okay, so with the way they're keeping the stock market overinflated, they're playing around with the dollars as far as giving people money here. There is no reason to think this isn't going to play out the same that it's played out in other countries. Absolutely no reason. So you might want to think, well, pretty scary, huh? Well, actually, no, I'm not looking at it that way, okay? Um, people think, oh, mind control. You know, we've been mind controlled to think all this stuff. Well, you know, here's the thing. Everybody always wants to think the out there, the most severe way of looking at things. Do I believe that they're using mind control on us? Uh, probably likely. Um, but also not likely on the scale that people around the, these platforms want to make you believe. That they're yelling about it, okay? It is usually the simple answer. Personally, I see staring at screens on social media a direct form of mind control. Or how do you see it? So I don't really think people need to be hooked up to machines at this point, okay? Because people are already distracting themselves. So they're self-owning themselves is basically what's going on here. So I feel blessed to know what's going to come. Why would I think that? Well, because I've given it a great deal of thought and we have been programmed so heavily to fear and to separate us from what, everything that's good. So I'm not going to cling to the false world they've created. We've all picked a very interesting time to be here and I'd like to see the end of thousands of years of torture for the most vulnerable. And the only way that torture is going to stop is when this whole thing here stops and gets reset. So I think it's a little bit stronger of a reset than they're trying to make you feel like it is. But I don't know all about the Bible from that perspective. But what I do understand is they all get tossed screaming into a burning hell. I'll leave the rest for here. Goodbye for now. Be safe out there and chat with you later. Oh.